Let's take a look at some basic GoGo shell commands that we can execute in order to see what's going on within the OSGI container. Now, if you're on a Windows machine, one of the things that you may want to do is turn on or enable Telnet. You can use another application such as PuTTY to be able to connect via Telnet. Or if you want to take the easy way, we can connect to the GoGo shell using Liferay Developer Studio. So that's the approach that I'm going to take. If you want to telnet into the GoGo shell, what you can do is type telnet localhost 11311. On this computer, telnet is not enabled, so we see the error show up here. So again, the easy way without enabling telnet on your machine, you can right click the server down here at the bottom left and then select open GoGo shell. It'll open up a tab over here on the right hand side. I like to move it to the center over here. Right? That's just what I'm used to, right? And this is again, the easy way to connect to the GoGo -Go shell. So let's go over a couple of different commands that again, helps us check out what's going on within the OSGI container. We saw this one earlier. LB is probably going to be the most common one we'll use. It stands for list bundle. It shows us a list of all of the bundles that are inside the GoGo -Go shell or that are inside the OSGI container, right? We can do a little bit more with the LB command. So if you are familiar with some of the cool things you can do in the terminal or in the Linux world, so you can also pipe, right? You can grep and then we can look for blogs. So we're looking for the string blogs. You can see all of the bundles that have blogs within their name. Alternatively, if you want to take the easy way, you can do LB dash S and then blogs. But again, if you're more comfortable doing it as we do in the Unix world, right? Feel free to do that and feel free to experiment around as well. Another common command that you're going to be using is DM WTF. So where's the failure shows us if there are any dependencies that are missing or any issues with bundles, it'll let us know. In this situation, uh, we don't see anything wrong. So we're okay there. Let's say we know a specific module or a specific bundle that we want to find. So using LB dash S, uh, again, I like to pipe into grep. And then let's say I know the name of that specific bundle, right? I looked in the source code and I want to isolate that bundle, get that ID for the bundle, and then maybe I want to do something to it. So now that we have that bundle, for me it's 1204, right? I can stop it. Right? Maybe I did some modification to it and then I want to stop it. So we can stop it just like that. The console took over, printed out that the bundle has been stopped. So heading back over to my terminal, I can always start it back up after I made whatever sort of changes or modifications. And then the console reflects that. Let's take a look at a couple more commands. So another command is headers. Headers lets us look at the headers of a specific bundle or the headers of a manifest file. Let's use that same example of the blogs API. So 1204, and it shows us essentially that manifest file, right? All of the headers that are within the manifest file uh, show up for us. So this becomes very useful if we don't want to look for the specific bundle, open it up and see what's inside, right? So this is an easy way to take a look at the manifest file. Maybe we want to look at components and see the information about components. SCR colon list will list off all of the components that are within the OSGI container. Be careful with this command. This could uh, list off a lot of stuff. So just be careful there, right? You might have to wait a few moments like I did. Let's say we want to look at a specific component. So you can use SCR colon info followed by the component ID number. So you can see the ID number listed off. I can just pick one of the ones that I see like 4629, and it'll give you the information of that specific component. So another one is services, 
right? So services allows us to look, well, exactly at that, at a specific service. So taking from our example here, again, feel free to copy and paste if you'd like. So blogs, web, and anything with that. Allows us to hone in on the services that are within that specific bundle or bundles in this case. All right, last one from our examples, we can also inspect. So this allows us to inspect or show again some more information about a particular service. So in this example, we're looking at the capabilities of a bundle. So using 1204 again as the example, in this case, it's not providing any capabilities. So that's that. Right? We can kind of dig around. We can look for other bundles if we want. So that shows the main commands that we use in the GoGo shell. Again, if you have any doubts, uh, you can always type help. It gives you a list of all of the commands and what they do. You can also use man for the manual. So, so manual, the specific command, it gives you uh, the manual for it, gives you a brief description of what it does or doesn't do. So that wraps it up for this video and I will see you in the next video.